Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage, and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi folks, welcome to another project. No, not this page. <laughs> I'm gonna cover it. I had a request from the Life Art Journal class painting uh, a Galaxy Spiral. So that's what I attempt to do and that's a good occasion for me to cover up the mess I made here. So I'm gonna start with black gesso. This step is only necessary if you don't have a black background. We need a black background for the galaxy to put on. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do first add the black gesso here. If you have a black paper or a black art journal pages that's fine too. On the side here you can see all the paints I've used, all the colors I have used. I will have the list down below in the description box and on my blog. You're also going to need a white colored pencil. We're going to need scruffy brushes. Those brushes that are not smooth. <laughs> so if you don't have them, I, I, I only have like one left that's really used up and paint in it and probably mod podge and I don't know what else. Um, you also can buy those inexpensive um, bristle brushes and I even did cut them back so they are this brush is from this set and it was about this length and I just did cut it like in half that makes them really stiff so that's what I'm gonna use. I did cut this back as you can see. Those, those are the same brushes but this one is really shorter. I did cut it very rigorous cut back. So that's what we're gonna need and uh, we're gonna need water. We're gonna need water to clean our brushes and we're gonna spray water too. I have a little piece of paper to try dry out my color combinations and somewhere I had my palette. So I'm using a lot of large palette, not those round food lids I usually have. That's a lot of, but it's also from food, so it's not a palette palette. But that's what we're gonna need. So first I'm gonna chest on my background with the foam brush. I, th I find it the easiest and we need something to protect our pages. We have already done something with it. So with no further ado, uh, I'm going to start adding gesso. So my chisel is dry, now onto the spiral. I did start by placing an oval which uh, represents the middle of a spiral galaxy and I uh, don't put it right in the middle, it just doesn't look good. Uh, you know the rule of third, the point of interest has to be in the thirds. So it is somewhere like here and somewhere like here. So here is my middle and then you're gonna add the arms. Do it lighter than what I do it. I just might want to make sure that you can actually see it. So it's sort of an oval and then we need an uneven number of arms and five seems to be a good thing. So. Let's have the first here. Someone somewhat even. Okay. Now the first arm of the spiral first a little bit along the center and then going out. A little bit along the center and then going out. Mm 
Oh, I missed one here. Oh, no worry. Okay. So that's what we have. Then we gonna widen it at the base where they are attached. Now onto the paint. The first thing I do, I do spray a little bit of water because uh, we need um, to do the things while the acrylic paint is still wet. First thing I'm gonna do is, this is a really dark blue. It's actually a green blue they say. It's a rather darkish blue. And I'm going to tip the brush into water because I really want the paint to be wet as long as possible. Now I have to zoom you out again. So you're going to paint in some dark blue. Add a lot of water so that you have time to blend later on. The next color is adding some white and just to be on the safe side I'm gonna add a little bit water to the background also. It's a Titan white and now we need our paper. Just dip it in Dip it off a little bit and start pouncing it. You just pounce the paint. You are not going for a total coverage. That's not your goal. Just pounce it. First in the middle of the arms you have catched in and as you can see I always start from the middle because there is the most light in the middle and the white represents the light here. Even if I have to take up some more paint, I start again from the middle, just to be on the safe side. I do have a little bit of a puddle here because I have a very uneven surface from what I had before, so I'm gonna pick this up. Now, our next color is going to be a light pink, but I used the fluorescent neon magenta color and add a little bit of white, about half-half I would say, and mix those. And I think I need more white, that wasn't enough. That's what I'm looking for. A really pale pink. I have to warn you, there's going to be an ugly stage here with where you think it's never going to be right. Just keep going. And it's not always, sometimes you need more layers, sometimes you need less layers.
Next I have a like a steel blue, a light steel blue, which I'm gonna use. If you don't have, you can use a dark blue with some white too, but it just saves me some time this way. I'm going to switch to the final brush, which is about 5 millimeters wide. This one was uh, maybe 8 millimeters. It's just a tiny little difference, but the finer, the finer the details, of course. Now, i also going to bring in some orange. Not sure if that is really in the galaxy. Again, it's a neon orange or a reflex orange. And again, I'm gonna mix it with white. It's too bright for me. I'm not sure whether the galaxies really have orange, but I kind of like it in here. And as you can see, I get wider also in some parts. Okay, now I'm gonna go again over with white, especially in the middle. I'm gonna mix some black with the rest of this blue over here. Try to have just a little bit of black, if I can help. Seems it worked. <laughs> and just mix a really dark black, a dark blue, sorry. <laughs> I guess there's nothing darker than black. <laughs> anyway. Now I'm going to go in here again with the pouncing along the edges of the colored parts. Just to darken up some areas again. I'm also going to add a really dark purple, not so much in the middle, but like in the arms. And I'm concentrating that more now on one side of the arm of the spiral. I'm gonna try the yellow also. Let's see how that goes. But I'm gonna mix in again some white. So I go on the other side this time with the yellow. On the other side of the purple. And last, I also gonna add some turquoise. Oh, 
Okay, I did dry those areas a bit and hopefully now I really get an orange here. Now I need that whole thing a little bit to dry before I go in again. Now I'm gonna go in again the last time with white and I don't have room on my palette. I want the pure white now, so I'm gonna put it on my test paper. And that again take the smallest I have, which is this one. Um, clean pretty well and especially in the middle I want more white because there's the light source here I got sort of the edges of my main colors with the white start somewhat in the middle okay Adding some to other places. Okay. Now, I also want to add splatters, and for that, I actually use an ordinary brush, it's easier. I just I'm going to add a little bit of water to my white here. If you flick them you get more bigger drops and if you tap it you get the fine and make a mixture between both but I'm not only doing white I actually also want the yellow usual there will be a picture at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video and in case you are new here why don't you consider subscribing. I appreciate all my subbies and I hope to see you soon again here. Take care, bye!